Hi, Craig Maxey here with MyDJKJ.com. We're going to teach you how to use Virtual DJ Studio 6.9, how to add music into your karaoke music database. As we see over here, we have three different tabs. We have Music Database, Karaoke Q, and Save Singers. Under Music Database, we're going to have just a white little search bar here. Most people don't even know it's a search bar when they first use the software because it doesn't have anything labeling it as a search bar. But that is your search bar. Now, it's not going to start searching for songs until we index the software. And indexing basically tells the software where to look for the music. Now, <clears throat> what I like to do is I like to have it set up for the karaoke search music only. So my karaoke songs only will be searched for in using just this search bar. If we go to the right of that search bar, we're going to find it will normally say all files. If we click on that and go down to karaoke only, then all we have to do is <clears throat> go to options and actually add and index these songs so the software knows where to look for the music. We do that by hitting the options under the virtual DJ studio database options window here that will pop up we will see that normally this will be blank and we'll have to add we go down to our external hard drive where it says mydjkj.com you're going to click on the little arrow that's going to bring us to the files that are within that external hard drive and then you're going to click on karaoke and then go down and click on ok now we've already done that we don't want to add it twice and then what it will start doing it will start updating this screen down here is going to uh, turn white this down here and uh, when it turns black again that's when we know it's done so we don't want to do anything while it's indexing we want to leave it alone and it may take a few hours depending on how many songs that you have for your system so for a uh, for a full index or for the first time that you're going to be using it you want to do a full re-index now if you've just added some songs or moved some things around in your files you want to go and update your index and that's going to be a quicker indexing um, because it already so you already have the same amount of songs there you just might have moved them around or whatever or you might have only added a few so it'll re recognize the ones that are there and it'll skip those and go to the ones that it needs to remember where they're at so once we've done that Make sure you have display search results as I type marked. Make sure we're set at 1000 for the limit immediate results to. And then make sure we ensure that the drive exists. And once again, we have a help file here if you need it. Or you can give us a call or contact us through email. Let us know what your issues are. We can help you through that. Now, if we go over and we click close. Now, if we hit full re-index or update index, it's automatically going to close out and go into indexing. So, uh, let's just go ahead and close it. And then, it's going to index. And like I said, it's going to take some time. Do not try to use your software while it's indexing. So, always make sure you go to your shows early or that you index before you get to your shows. And then, when I get to my shows, I always like to double check. Of course, that's why one of the reasons why we like to get to our, our shows about an hour to two hours in advance. First things we want to set up is our laptop so that we can make sure all of our indexing is working. That way, if we need to index, it can index while we're over at um, setting up our speakers or plugging in other stuff, turning on our lights, whatever we need to do. Um, so when you get to your show you want to open it up and make sure it is indexed and all you have to do is start typing something in like um, Johnny Cash so we want to type in cash that pops up grab any file and just go ahead and um, we're going to drag that to the top and when we drag that to the top we're going to put it just in player one now each one of these is our karaoke players and depending on your laptop and the size of your monitor on your laptop or your computer it's going to variate on how many of these karaoke players you have so drag it up into karaoke player hit play make sure that the file is working if we look over here this is our our master video section and over here we see that it's working we have we have 
volume of our music we can see the video now if we double click on that that's going to make that a little larger and easier for us to see but let's go ahead and minimize that again so our indexing worked um, everything's fine you can move on so that's how you're going to add songs into your music database and once again anytime you update your music or anything like that make sure you go over to options click it open and make sure that you hit update index okay so you want to update that index and I'll just show you what it's going to do it's going to do that notice how it all went to white and then whenever it goes into that when it looks like that that's when you know the indexing is done okay so once again it takes a while it might take you a few hours that's how you're going to index your music if you have any questions uh, make sure you contact us and we can step you through using the Virtual DJ Studio 6.9. This is for our MyDJKJ.com karaoke host that hosts with us. We'll have more videos coming up. Make sure that you uh, take a look at them and that you subscribe to the actual YouTube channel so that you can see any kind of upcoming uh, software or business videos. Thanks again. I am Craig Maxey with MyDJKJ.com. Practice, enjoy, and have a good karaoke show.